Hello again, and for today, I am going to be delving into a sizable topic, uh, something that, while on the surface doesn't seem like it's totally related to Star Wars, if you were tracking the Last Jedi box office internationally, then it makes sense. So, I did a video on China months ago, why I really don't like China, why I think it's a communist shithole, why we shouldn't be doing business with communist shitholes, why we should let them suffer so that they become free nations, and basically starve the beast and do not feed it. Stop being a globalist. And yet, China is the fucking hero when it comes to Disney Star Wars and uh, its lack of success. And we're going to delve into some history first. Uh, the, um, the Cultural Revolution was in full swing in the 70s when the first sets of Star Wars movies came out and in the 80s. So China did not see those movies. And I don't know if China actually ever did see the original Star Wars movies. But, you know, this was a result of communism that they did not get to see the Star Wars movies. And so, when the prequels come out, and we now live with a globalist world that views China as not a threat, fucking, the prequel trilogy just kind of comes and goes because nobody understands it in China. You know, it's like, what, why are, you know, all of these Westerners freaking out about this movie that's just like Journey to the West? Like, we don't get it. And so... That's essentially what happened with the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy in, in mainland China. And yet, all around them, countries were feverishly enthusiastic for the Star Wars. And yet, China is now one of the largest international markets for films, simply because there are a billion people in the fucking country, and really not much else, and... Okay, maybe it's that they like fucking Western movies and they go nuts when it's there's a Marvel movie and so everyone's like, oh, China's a big market. We need to take on the Chinese market. We need to get our movies into China. And Disney really loves having a presence in China. You know, they have Disneyland Shanghai, Disneyland Hong Kong. Bob Iger sinks a lot of money into the theme parks of both of these areas of the world um they they have fucking better marvel parks than we do at walt disney world and you know obviously they slightly have a better one than disneyland because you know we got guardians of the galaxy but they got ant-man and an iron man ride and it's just like are you fucking kidding me like why isn't that shit over here and again it's to encourage more chinese tourism so with the sequel trilogy, obviously Disney has a lot of investment at stake when it comes to getting this movie to make a lot of fucking money. You know, make that $4 billion plus back in the initial purchase. And as a result, uh, they have tried numerous times to push the Disney Star Wars brand into China. They had... Uh, a mild success with The Force Awakens. Rogue One, they tried to add some Chinese actors like Jiang Wei, I believe his name was, or Wen Jian, and of course, beloved Donnie Yen into Star Wars Rogue One, or Rogue One, a Star Wars story. And, you know, it didn't really work the way they hoped, but people did go see the movie and were okay with it. And then The Last Jedi happened. And they so didn't get that movie that by week two, there was a 92% drop in in viewership and in, in audience uh, in sales of tickets for The Last Jedi. And so after two weeks of fucking being screened in China, it was quietly shuttered out of the fucking country. Or, sorry, it quietly exited out of the country. And this is amazing. This is crazy. Because, you know, when it comes to movies, China eats up whatever Hollywood shits out. And so to reject a major franchise like Star Wars in such a, you know, open and brazen fashion shows that the Disney Star Wars uh, IP 
has no legs going forward. The reason why I think Marvel is so successful in China is because at the end of the day, they are pretty good stories. They they are decent films, and you know that that's why they they love it so much. But it's stuff that they've never seen before. You know, they don't have superheroes like we do, or like the Japanese do with the Tokusatsu and the Sentai. You know, there's no henshin for them to uh, to gravitate towards. But you know, when you take larger mythology and boil it down into a um, a kind of pastiche of all kinds of genres and make something new by putting it in a science fiction setting, well then, unfortunately, people can still see the uh, the initial ideas that inspired Star Wars. And I think this is why it does not resonate in China. I think a lot of it has to do with, A, the fact that they never got to see the original trilogy, B, that they see too much of what influences it. And C, that it's not really interesting to a Chinese audience. And you can put in any random Asian actor or actress. They're still not going to go fucking see it, okay? They have to be good movies for people to want to see it multiple times. And, you know, it's Monday right now. And we are getting so fucking close, ladies and germs, to the rise of Skywalker. The anticipation on, on this fucking movie is killing me as to what it's actually about, how people are going to receive it. Like, I, I almost wish I was seeing this movie, but no, I, I am sticking to my principles and I am not going to participate in this garbage. Um, so yeah, we are at an impasse and it will be very interesting to see if China rejects the rise of Skywalker in the same like brisk, immediate fashion that they rejected The Last Jedi. And it will show to at least the investors that, you know, stop putting Star Wars in China. It's not going to do anything. They are not going to get it. It's, it's only a Western thing, quote unquote. And, you know, it's just going to be so fucking funny. Like, (laughs) I really think it will be if, if China fucking only goes for like opening weekend and then no one shows up the second weekend. And then the movie is just quietly pushed out of, out of screenings in China, and, oh, my God, oh, my goodness, it will be so glorious to see that end result, but I am not totally there yet as far as predicting what China's going to do, because China is sometimes very weird when it comes to uh, what they watch and what they don't watch, but the key point is, is that China makes a lot of blockbuster movies go Super Saiyan, you know, they go above and beyond, you know, what they could have done in just a Western market. And to Disney, China is worth a lot of money. It is worth investing all this money into making sure that people go see it. I mean, China is the big reason why Avengers Endgame made as much money as it did in the end. You know, China really helped to push it into being the highest grossing movie of all time. And they're not going to be there for fucking Star Wars. It, it, just based on the track record alone, it's going to be a really dark day for fucking Star Wars in China. And it sucks, man, because there are some kinds of Chinese influence on the actual Star Wars mythos. You know, the 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 Shaolin monk is, to me, a stronger archetype for the Jedi Knight than the uh the samurai because you know the shaolin monk is taken at an early age trained in every fucking discipline possible pushing their body to inhuman limits and you know overall the monk lives a celibate lifestyle travels the world tries to solve people's problems that is what a fucking jedi knight is okay that that is way more of what a jedi knight is than some kind of fucking wandering ronin okay ronins are more like bounty hunters if we're gonna you know, put culture into Star Wars and and try to uh, match things. Because essentially that's what it is. It's either they're a bounty hunter or a Sith because the samurai is more likely to succumb to their darker wills. But enough on culture and Star Wars. Um, Let's kind of wrap this up because, as I've stated, China does not like Star Wars the way it likes other Western properties. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens this weekend. Disney, again, has 
invested so much money into China and Star Wars is just like a giant black eye in that fucking investment. And so, you know, to the Chinese, I say, I hope, you know, you people free your country and then discover the majesty of the original Star Wars trilogy and the actual good qualities of the prequels. But first, you know, free your fucking country because it's garbage that you guys are just oppressed daily by a communist government that now wants to use technocracy to fucking subvert you people even more. It's just gross. But to Disney, who continues to invest money into America's enemies and, again, not learning lessons, keep fucking up left, right, and center, uh, tread lightly because the Chinese people have rejected your Baijuo Star Wars movies.